all right welcome to another how to anime video so for this video we're going to be talking about my issues with the chainsaw man anime so my biggest issue with the chainsaw anime is if you read the chainsaw man manga the comedic tone of the writing in chainsaw man the manga does not translate that well over to the anime in my opinion let's start off like my first uh big issue with that and it's the dialogue right so in episode two when dingy first meets aki right the most funniest scene so far is the dingy versus aki fight scene they build up that moment probably the best but some of the things that dingy says that should be that should go over as very very funny does not translate that well as funny he kind of just states it so i like to use mob cycle 100 as an example because one of the biggest things that they're known for and even like demon slayer spy family does this is the reactions of the characters so in spy family you have anya you have lloyd when they have reactions it hits they hammer it home they go over the top in, in mob cycle you have reagan every time reagan goes over the top they build that extra animated frame to make it you know to hit, hit home what the reaction is and that is my issue with chainsaw man it's like it's just the, the words i keep coming up with this it's dark dreary somber right and it is a dark anime but at the same time, the, the whole point, how to make it more balanced is the fact that it's comedic, you know, it's the comedic qualities of the characters and what they say. So that's how you balance it out between the dark and the comedy. And now you have this dark comedy contrast. It's the juxtaposition of th that humor that goes along with this kind of really dark element of the story. So the creators of Chainsaw Man, they elected to make it more about, you know, the character development and more about, they, they make it too serious, you know? I'm gonna use some of these manga panels to show you guys, hey, if you just read the manga panels and you just watch the scene that they adapted it to, it's a totally different vibe because uh, a big example of this is beginning of episode three you have power and dingy arguing against each other right and it, it is kind of funny but they kind of like scaled it back to make it more of a background issue so them just yelling at each other they don't use any music they don't use any of the kind of dramatic effects of their reactions going over the top and it's more from makima's point of view of just kind of watching them fight over each other which i think i understand i kind of understand why they did that that involves spoilers but in terms of if you just read the manga panels of that of them arguing it's really like them yelling at each other it, it's a very funny back and forth with these over the top reactions and i don't think the chainsaw man is actually delivering it as uh, i would have expected so that's kind of one of the things like let me know what you guys think about uh the dialogue if it comes over uh, as comedic as uh, as the manga so if you guys haven't read the manga you know watching the anime it, it's you know you're probably getting a little bit different experience i still like the anime don't get me wrong guys don't hate me i want chainsaw man to be successful i want to enjoy it and like it but you know i have to give criticisms where i think um you know the anime deserves it so the dialogue, the, the whole feel of Chainsaw Man so far is dark, dreary, and somber, and just like very kind of flat. And it's building this serious element of, of Dingy, where like Dingy himself, his dreams and stuff, is, it's very, it's very funny. And he says a lot of funny things. So I just want, you know, the anime to hammer that down, to give that balance to the dark element of that. Because otherwise, it just makes Dingy too serious of a character. It makes him wanting to to touch Mune. I'm just gonna use the word Mune. It, it makes it a little bit more creepier than it should be. It should be a funny part of the entire anime. It should be like a running joke, right? But it's not portrayed that way. It's like you know, I gotta do this to touch. I'm trying to do all this to touch. You know, some Mune. You know, power is Mune. So all in all. In terms of the dialogue, 
they just don't hit home with all the funny reactions and the funny things that they say. So that is my criticism there for the Chainsaw Man anime so far, three episodes in. And one of my other biggest issues with the anime so far is it's also in episode three and that is when Denji ends up fighting the Bat Devil. And you know, they're building this whole arc of power and Denji being these relatable characters, you know, Denji has Pochita and then power has Miaoi. So they build this kind of element to their character development of the, mostly for power. So when Denji ends up fighting the Bat Devil, they build up this scene for Denji to have kind of like that hero resolve. So a lot of like shonen anime, it's a lot of fight scenes, right? When you fight, you know, the main bad guy and whatever arc, right? They go up and they, they have this resolve like Asta, I'm, you know, I have to do this so I can be the Wizard King. I can't let you know, uh, beat me. And then you have like, you know, Midoriya in My Hero Academia. Like he's, he's sacrificing his arms to, in order to save his friends and save, you know, civilians and stuff like that. Every hero has their thing and has their resolve. So this goes along with that comedic element portion that doesn't completely go through for me. It's like Denji is trying to he he says it out loud they build this moment like you know why am i not able to you know be able to touch mune it just they made that scene a little bit it's too serious right they made the music like the other issues i have is with the music as well because it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel like this grand moment like the, the whole delivery of this scene is it's usually these scenes are epic right i'm building this resolve in order to achieve my goals as the main character right and dingy's main goal is something funny his main uh, uh one of his biggest dreams is just to be with a girl and be able to touch so when he does that moment it's kind of like the scene the music makes it too serious where it's not that grand thing that's like with that undertone of funny it doesn't come across as you know epically funny it just comes across as like yo this is something that the main character should be striving for it, it, it just doesn't go over well in that aspect uh for me right now so dingy rising up to the challenge to defeat the bat devil it's all about his resolve to want to be able to touch you know the female anatomy but the way it's portrayed it's not built as something epic with this like delivery of something that's actually funny it's just delivered as something that's, that you should be taken seriously when you shouldn't be taking it that seriously my main gripe in general for the chainsaw man anime is they're not delivering the comedic tone of the manga it's not translating that well into the anime the anime makes it like way too serious than it, it, it should be because Denji, Power, these characters are goofy. They say goofy things and you know the story is very dark. So if it doesn't present more of the funny and comedic aspects of the characters, it just goes over as a bit too dark, a bit too serious. It makes me think of the characters too seriously when in reality Denji's dream is not that serious you know it's funny you know and it should be portrayed that way so yeah guys that's pretty much what i have to say about the chainsaw man anime so far i still enjoy the anime it's just some things about it that's bothering me so far and we have a long way to go there's more characters that are going to be introduced there's more very important you know and funny events and funny things that happen that I want to see how they portray it. So if they don't do these things, if they don't accomplish and deliver the execution of these funny moments, uh, of these scenes, and make it as theatrical or dramatic as I expect it to be, then I'm gonna have pretty harsh criticism for Chainsaw Man. Yeah, so far it's it's an it's okay to good. Like I, in my blog review of episode three, overall at this point, you know, it's around a 7.5 out of 10 and it's trending towards more seven or under seven out of 10 
for me for this anime so far you know I, I love the manga I love the story I love the aspects of the story where there's just a lot of layers of depth to the story it, it's hard for me to kind of explain it but it's just there's a lot of serious elements to the story that the characters make it not as serious and it makes it funny yeah it, it's just the characters is what makes the story go and not make you think so much about like this perception of uh whatever metaphor that they're working with so yeah let me know do you guys have criticisms for the chainsaw man anime so far do you guys like the anime do you guys read the manga if you guys haven't read the manga and just watch the animes what do you guys think so i'm really want to know what other people's perspective of chainsaw man is from whatever viewpoint or however you consume chainsaw man i really want to know online it looks like i've seen a lot of websites they give it like a 9 out of 10. i don't think it's that good just yet I, and i think it's you know i might be in the minority of my criticisms for the chainsaw man it's I, I wouldn't be talking about it if i didn't watch it and actually like the overall story in the manga so let me know what you guys think and do me a favor guys go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel and check out my blog at otakusen.com check out my tiktok and i also have an anime figures channel it's called otakusen as well but it's with the space so go ahead and subscribe over there to check out that kind of content and you know i appreciate you guys i hope this channel grows and i appreciate you guys once again and i'll see you guys on the next video